What's up guys, it's Chadwick here. I wanted to give you a quick tip about syncing up two hard drives like on a nightly basis from an editor drive to an assistance drive with uh, the Avid Media files. This is a lot easier than syncing stuff you know, by looking at date modified and then just copying those files because it does all the work for you. What you need to get is a drop sync. It's on the App Store and lucky me, I have it installed already. So let's go ahead and open up the application and we need to first create a new synced place so go to synced places new and what I want to do is take stuff that's on this Bioshock volume and move it on to the Spartan volume we'll call it Avid Media Bioshock to Spartan because those are the names of the hard drives right click finish and right here you see we've got a new synced place on the left we've got our source drive, the right is like a destination drive. Now they can go back and forth. These buttons will let you go back and forth. Um, but just to think like an editor, here's our source monitor, here's our record monitor. Let's start by setting up our record monitor. So down here on Spartan, we don't have a folder for Avid Media Files. So let's do that first. Let's make one. So we'll do a new folder, call it Avid Media Files spelled exactly how they like it with no space between media and files. We'll take this, drag it up here, and we can see our root path for this is volume Spartan Avid Media Files right at the root where we want it. And uh, next we're going to go over here to the source side and choose uh, the directory that we want to sync and I want to sync the Bioshock Avid Media Files folder and I'll click open. Now at first it looks like it doesn't work, and it doesn't at first. It says users Chadwick Schultz, which is not uh, the path I want to sync. So if I did these right here, this is not going to work out right. What we have to do is click this set as root button, and then boom, these match up. So we have volumes, Bioshock, Avid Media Files, and over here we have volumes, Spartan, Avid Media Files. So essentially what this will do is take everything that's in here and make it everything in here. Now, what's so great about this application is that it's going to see what's different between those folders and just offer to add or delete what's different about them. So that when you're going on in a project and you've only added a couple pieces of voiceover or a couple new video clips per day, you're able to just copy the, the delta, the changes from that day, rather than uh, either making a massive copy of the whole new project or having to search by date and doing things manually, which is never fun. So, uh, jumping back over here to drop sync, we uh, first probably should save it. So, we'll go to File, Save. And then, if you look in here, we'll see we've got, we're going to actually be selecting all of the subfolders within there, which is what I want typically for a project. Then, I will click Preview to the right. And it's scanned through super fast. And it's telling me that um, it's going to be wanting to move 51 gigs of files which is 609 changes. You can see the details, all the media that's in there that will be moved, which is cool. And just click proceed. It's pretty simple from here on out. So we've got progress bars being drawn. Um, you can see a, a progress bar down here as well. And then also one thing you might notice is that we're looking at Spartan down here it has already automatically started making the folder structure too so it made the MXF folder it made all these other folders in here now there's no files in there yet because it hasn't copied them but they're there so they will be getting uh, the MXF media in there you know as this progress goes by all right awesome see the progress bar is done and if we check down here we'll see on Spartan that we have in our MXF media folders we've got all the footage as it populates there that we did um, up above. We can double check that easily by going here and seeing, um, you know, there's 56 items in here, 56 in there, you know, just sort of spot check. In the 201 folder, we've got 71 and 71. And so to me, this is a much better way of doing incremental updates per day. Um, is just going and plugging both drives into the same computer using this software and just previewing the changes from one to the other 
Now, obviously, because I didn't add any files, there's nothing here. But on a normal day, if you added files to one of these and not the other, it would see the differences and you could push those across easily. Now you see how easy you can sync up drives without having to manually go into and say, go into list view and then sort by date modified, which is never a fun way of doing stuff. So anyways, take care and I'll talk to you next time.